everyone. Welcome to this video, Sans Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the Quick Restore CD for the Compact Armada M700. But Jay, I hear you cry. That was your last video. You've just done that. Actually, we're going to be taking a look at the other Quick Restore CD I got on the other Compact Armada M700. And if you want to know why we're doing that, ask Billy. Yeah, I just had an idea and he went with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. that. <laughs> so uh, with me, I have Road Geek and Elmal3. Um, you want their um, YouTube channels? Look in the description. Uh, I'm sorry to sound like UXW Bill there. Yeah, we don't feel like... Um, yeah, read the description. Yeah, yeah, we don't feel like um, just going ahead and say it. Just, yeah, just... Do some work for once. Yeah. <laughs> read the description. No. You know, it's a new generation, but you have to read. Yeah. No, because I'm too busy enjoying the content, William. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, I'll read the description. You know, it does make it does actually help the video make more sense. But still, I'm enjoying the content. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to restore this M700 using Windows 95 and see how the two software packs actually differ. Now, the restore process should be exactly the same. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut this machine down and I'm going to F-disk it. No partitions. Zilch. Zero. Nada. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to run for desk, <laughs> and yep, delete the partition. Volume label J. Oh, okay. Is that what I called my hard disk? Yeah, that's that's nice. Hey, you need to quit labeling your hard drives after yourself. You hard drive labeling. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um... Central Justice uh, Computer Warrior. Oh, well, thank you very much, you white enabling hard drive labeling. <laughs> 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 You're discriminating. You're discriminating. Your caviar blacks have feelings, too. <laughs> I know. Okay. Now, this is actually quite... Um... This is a curious thing that's just happened here. This machine has not actually asked for any codes. It's just kind of straight away went on to System Recovery CD for Compact Armada M700. Your system needs to be connected to AC power before the System Recovery CD can continue. Make sure you're connected to AC power. Note, next is enabled only when AC power is connected. Do not connect to AC, disconnect to AC power during the restore process. Format and restore. So because... So uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be installing Windows 95. Now because this is... Um, yes, and I know the contents of the hard drive are about to be erased. And yes, I, I know that you've just sent me my 1000 and... 48th notice um, but yeah um, it's going to be quite interesting to see what version of Internet Explorer comes with this because obviously you know it's Windows 98 second edition um, on the other CD actually it's only it wasn't obvious to me when I was doing that video but it became blindingly obvious when um, you know I actually had a look in the system properties and realised you know and it was IE5 and what have you um, but because it's, you know, Internet Explorer 5 will have been around then, so it'll be interesting to see if Internet Explorer 5 is installed on the 95 partition, whether I get active desktop, and, you know, all kinds of other completely irrelevant questions. Of course, I should be able to use my flash disk drive on this machine, because thanks to ToastyTech.com, Windows 95 USB. Um, so yeah, now this is going to take some time. To set up the partition. So I'll come back to you once it's actually restoring. Hang on. Yep. It's actually... Uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll run it through this. So it's actually... Um, 
restarted the machine now that it's created the partition. And what it will do is it will actually reformat the system. It will actually reformat the hard drive. It will do a full format. I can't remember what size of hard disk I put in this system. But, um, yeah. So there we go. It's a way formatting the C drive. And it'll do that, and then it'll uh, go on and restore the operating system. But, um, you know, this is going to take some time. So, time to make a cup of tea. Well, here we are. Um, this this is uh, the uh, compact. Um, we're actually uh, done with the restore. I forgot to make a cup of tea because I was too busy rolling around in a na na na. So, let's remove the CD and see what horrors I may have unleashed on this machine. Um. Compact. Starting Windows 95. Excellent. So it's uh, the Windows 95 logo. Starting uh, start screen with the compact logo. So it'll be quite interesting to see how this is configured. I'm guessing just like the Windows 98 disk, there's going to be no there's going to be no applications, so to speak. And I don't even think this one will come with the compact DVD because this machine doesn't have a DVD drive in it. <clears throat> okay, so this is just it's it is working away. There we go. So yeah, this is um, you know quite. This this will be um, I'm guessing quite similar to um, the Windows ninety eight recovery. Um, this will be very similar to the Windows ninety eight image, and it will be also very similar to Windows ninety five images on other compacts. So I've got to select my system locale once again, just like I did with the other machine. Um, but surprisingly, I don't have to restart. So what I'm going to do is type my name and my serial number, and then uh, we'll get started. Okay, so now we'll probably need to restart now. Let's uh, start wizard. Windows 95 saved all the information. Click finish to continue starting Windows 95. Yep, I thought as much. Had to restart at the end of the wizard rather than halfway through. Yeah. Please wait while your computer shuts down. See, in all the time I've had this machine, it's been a Windows 98 box. <clears throat> 98 runs well on it. I didn't have run too badly, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, the fact that I didn't even have to enter the machine serial number when I put the quick restore CD in. Oh, that's good. Tells me that this could have actually came originally with Windows 95. And a lot of compacts did, even in 1999. Okay. And I'm recording again. So, um, just type my name in. And now we're going to get to see the delights of the Windows 95 installation. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to get to see the delights of the uh, find new hardware wizard. Now we're going to get to see the delights of Windows 95. And now it's saying configuring system. Please wait. Well, I really don't have much of a choice. Actually, I do, because I could actually bring up the um, the uh, task window in Windows 95 just by hitting the Windows key. But I'm not going to. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to what Compact says. 
Compaq always knows what's right. I think their I think their logo back in nineteen ninety nine used to be Compaq. Better answers. Yeah. I remember listening to a radio advert about someone working from home. I was like, oh yeah, I got this Compaq Desk Pro. Now I get to work from home. Yeah. But, which means I don't have to go into the office, which means my kids can be grounded more often. Yeah. He was like, you're grounded. Was like, Morning, Dad. You're grounded. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think that Compaq owners had, Compaq owners in the day had kind of a, who am I kidding? I had a Compaq. Yeah, the brand is doomed. <laughs> That's probably what went wrong. <laughs> as soon as I got my met someone, that was it. Oh, by the way, um, just so you guys know, watching this video, um, for the first time in a few months, I got the Dimension 2350 uh, running again. There's nothing wrong with it, just I didn't have anywhere to use it. <laughs> but now, thanks to a... Um, uh, KVM switch upgrade it's um, able to use up to four machines with uh, one uh, workstation yep and this computer is going to be 12 years old this summer and it's still going oh yeah that's, that's what happens when you buy Dell it'll last forever oh yeah when all, when all else fails get a Dell yep I completely agree actually I must, I must admit, you know, I do like Dell systems. I like their business desktop line. Mm. Yeah, I do too. There was a time when their home desktop line was good as well. Yeah, like what I'm using. Yeah, back in the early to mid-2000s. Yeah, before 2006. Yep. Yeah. Of course, my Intamon 6000 was... From 2006, that, well, that was more of a 2005 model. Yeah, mine, mine's, is a two, mine's is a 2005. My C521 is from 2005. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> my, uh, my 6000 was from 2005, and, well, I mean, you guys got to see it. It's in basically new condition. Yeah, I can't say the same thing about mine, but that's because I um, I used the heck out of it when I, when I was using it as my main laptop. yeah. Oh no, I can completely understand. I mean, and, and unfortunately, they're made out of silver paint. Yeah, you can especially see the wear and tear on the on the left touchpad touchpad click button. Yeah, I should probably get some uh, sticky back uh, paper, you know, to do like UXW Bell. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Although his actually his D eight hundred latitude came with you know the keyboard the uh, plastic on the keyboard keyboard palm rest. They probably sent it in under, under warranty to have the shell replaced. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. So I mean, obviously the machine looks a total mess, but it's completely superficial because all he has to do is take off the. Um, the protect uh, the protective uh, plastic and the machine underneath will literally be uh, brand new. I remember my friend gave me a row actually for keeping a protective plastic on the back of my Samsung screen, and he he's adamant that you know my V twenty the, the something melted, and he's adamant yeah. that that's what was wrong. My boss keep kept the uh, kept the plastic on the back of his. HP laptop. Mm. I must admit the machine did look a lot better with the plastic on it. It kind of gave it a glossy look. Excellent. So while Billy's installing Works 2003, Jay approved by the way. Okay. So I wonder if now we get to see Windows 95 in action or whether we've still got more config configuring to do. Right, okay, now that is interesting, because, oh, and that's even more interesting, because we've got the compact DVD player, even though there's no DVD drive in here, 
and this machine comes with Internet Explorer 4, an active desktop update. I think I think it might have been federal law that all compact quick restore CDs running Windows 95 came with mm. IE4, an active desktop update. I don't have a Windows 95 quick restore CD that doesn't. Um, so yeah, I mean this 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 is what it all comes with. Um, Compact DVD Express, Internet Explorer. There's no IE5 on here, though. There just isn't. It's it's not there. Um, so, you know, I'll probably install that manually because IE5 does, you know, kind of stabilize the system a bit better. Um, but there you have it. You know, oh, and I'm going to want to install the black mouse pointers as well. But um, there you have it. This is the uh, other M700. And completely restored to factory settings. Um, Pentium 2, th uh, 366 megahertz. And, yep, it's using Windows 95. And that's absolutely fine for a system of this uh, type. You know, and if I wanted to, I could quite easily upgrade it to 98. I'm pretty sure of that. But, you know, I already have the other one running Windows 98. You know, because I have a Windows 95 CD as well, I thought, well, why not? Yeah, keep things um, upbeat and unique. Yep. And this has got an ATI Rage Mobility P graphics chipset. Mm. Pentium 2, ATI graphics, 3D... <clears throat> Pretty good system. Pretty good system for what it is. Oh, especially running 95, that thing ought to fly. Oh, yeah. Windows 95 and 128 megs of RAM. So, uh, there you go. I mean, like I said, no extraneous programs, really, apart from Compact DVD Express. Um, MS, so well... I would imagine playing a DVD on Windows 95, but Toasty Tech's done it. Oh, it's entirely doable, obviously. Mm. I just need to I just need to add a DVD drive to this, and then I'd be able to. I would actually be able to, uh, ins uh, you know, play DVDs. I will need to install the. Uh, I will need to install the USB driver. Oh no, it's it's already been done. But I will need to install the USB removable storage driver. Uh, CD ROM. Also from Tech. Yes. Compact CD 224E. That's a CD-ROM drive. So there you go. So, um, before we go, uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to add? Well, I can say I'm completely jealous of both of those M700s. <laughs> they are good systems. I mean, I do prefer the tri-spindle design of the E500, though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Maybe someday you'll find you an, an E700. You, believe it or not, these restore discs actually work with the E700s as well. Ooh, I like that. And so that's, again, not a problem. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could find the restore CDs for the E500. I am going to be on the lookout for those. Um... So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I kind of wish me luck on that one, I guess. It's um, because, you know, I will, yeah, like I said, yeah, I'd be on the lookout for the E500 restore discs. Um, going to get, you know, uh, going to try and find restore discs for all of my other armadas. And hopefully not NT4 ones. I <laughs> Imagine that's like, oh, I found the restore discs, guys, for my uh, E500. Oh, it's Windows NT4. What I really think would work better is NT4 on the um, E on the seventeen hundred. Yeah. Because that doesn't have a graphics card to speak of. Yeah, Neo Magic. Yeah, I mean that that would be fine on a Neo Magic. Um. 
in fact, you know, I'd really like to make that an NT4 box. What I like about that, actually, is um, the way that Compaq have done it, they've actually managed to give uh, NT4 some APM. You know, so it's like when you shut down NT4, it actually literally shuts the computer down. You know, it's it does. It is, you know, and it's like you're not just sat there at the screen. It's like, oh, please press Control Alt Delete to shut down, uh, to restart. You know, it's it actually shuts the machine down. And I quite like that. <clears throat> so way to go, Compaq. You know, you've you've cracked it. You've made NT4 kind of bearable. Um, well, no, I mean NT4 has its uses. You know, it's 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 meant as a business system, and that's what it does. So yeah, here is the package that the uh, discs come in, you know, just for reference if anyone wanted to know. Um, and like I said, it goes to the Armada E700 and M700 and contains a disc for Windows 95 and a disc for Windows 98. So, with that all said, um, I'd like to, um, I'd actually like to see which version of Windows 95 this is. It's actually Windows 95, but with the me at the end. Um, and um, d I can't see your video, so does it have Active Desktop on 95? Yes, it does. IE4 with Active Desktop. Cool. And the Derpy toolbar, the, the, the icons have gone derp. Oh, well. They're not in here, they have not. Um, yeah, and Windows 95 doesn't seem to have the kind of multi-base support floppy drivey thingy. Mm. It, it, it still seems to think the floppy drive's there, but it's given it a DARP icon. Yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. Thank you. I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to read my blog and to um, like my page on Facebook. The URLs for all three of those will follow. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And please join me for my next one. <laughs>